ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time for some world championship action. A clash of two generations of the two best fighters in the world. For the vacant WBC Muay Thai Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Please welcome the first contender representing Northern Kings Gym, Newcastle, England. Please welcome Juan number four. Representing Team Day of Destruction, Hamburg, Germany. Please welcome the place, Gerardo Ati. And now the time has come for all of those in attendance and fight fans watching at Fight 24 TV from the Fight Club in Rathenow, Brandenburg, Germany. Here we go! After a lockdown, I got caught in the forest and the cover. Protect us safe all the time. That's what we're doing. First one. Whoa, let's go! I'm really hyped now, man. I'm a little, little bit out of my words. Out of breath. <laughs> Start slow, like traditional Muay Thai does. Big check. Team. Coco takes the center of the wing. Okay. And a nice blade-like low kick. That's yep. where he got his nickname from, from those low kicks. Juan is no jokes. I mean, he's a big, strong guy, so he his is. kicks and punches are going to cause damage. So it's not something you can play and, with. And there's a reason he fights for one championship. Yep, which yep. He does. absolutely. So... So He's one of the best fighters in the world. Yep. Number one in the WBC ranking. Coco wants that title, so one of these guys are going to have to lay it on the line. I think both want the title. <laughs> yeah, they do. Who wants it more? Yeah. yeah. Who wants it more, and we will see shortly. Well. Who, will, who will be ready to put more onto the wing? Or, to, or leave more on the wing? No commentating, sometimes you just uh, enjoy the fight. You just enjoy the fight. Yeah, especially at this level. <laughs> at this level, yeah. We're not just look out for something exciting to happen. Yep, so there's been two strikes to, to uh, the groin area, but wearing a metal box. It hurts, sure, but it's not like uh, there was a knee, ooh, to, the groin a knee to the groin area. So, so there was the third strike to the groin area. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the ref should keep an eye on that because yeah, uh, Ati's hit uh, hit Juan once uh, in the groin as well. In Muay Thai, technically a teep, a kick is not a foul to the groin, uh, but a knee is. Yeah. So if you're kneeing your opponent in the groin, it can be called uh, a foul. So oh, another nice yeah. counter low kick. And he now he, that one. Yep. Good. Yeah, maybe Good switch up Gerardo there. should set them Fake. more up. Yeah. Prepare the low it's quite, kick. It's quite a quite a, an aggressive first round from both guys. Um, mm, depends. They got, they got four more to go. Yeah. Um, Gerardo, Gerardo can start quicker, but I think he's more reserved, more reserved and more distant because Juan Cervantes is usually a Muay Thai fighter, which yeah. is dangerous. Mm -hmm. If you go into quick, and then he just brings out his knees and his great elbows. Yeah, good check there. You see, he didn't have to do much there. Ati was kicking a little bit low, and this, and this can cause an unnecessary injury. If you want to kick to the legs, kick to the leg, not to the knee. Oh, he there was a left hook. Left oh, hook by Juan. very good one. Yeah, that, that'll, keep, that'll make him awake. There's 10 seconds left in the first round. Oh, and another oh, good and timing nice to put, sweep. put good timing at the end nice of the sweep round. At the end of the round. Yeah, but look at the welts in the back of those legs of Juan already. Yeah, good start to the fight. Pretty even round until the end. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah, I think it if we're scoring this round, uh, Juan takes it. You really at, think so? Uh, yeah. On the end, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, he caught him with a massive left hook. If you could see this replay, maybe you'll see a yeah, very big left right. hook coming. That was it. No, good, no, good that lean wasn't back. It. No, that was you, the it's, it's towards the end of the round. I that think. was no the hook before that. A left hook, see? yeah. If you can see a left hook landing on Coco's chin, uh, by Juan, in the replay, if you could find that for us, there, production team, it's a big one. It rocks him, moves his head backwards. 
I'm not sure if it really hit him that good. Or oh, it hit him. Uh, um, oh, man. It man it we, him. we got a different opinion on that one. No, it hit him. <laughs> Look, what? I want to see the replay. Show yeah, the replay. I, I would need to see the replay <laughs> to, to be convinced. <laughs> Yeah, it's a high level fight. Both of these guys are good. Let's see who's 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 skilled and patient who can take the fight. Great lean back by Gerardo Ati. I think John has got, got a lot of experience here. I, I, you know, of course, one yeah, as we've but, seen but, in the previous fight, one exchange can change everything. Yeah, but I think I gotta say, like the co Ralf Stieger, the coach of Gerardo Ati, gives great advice. Of course, just in, inside a fight, because he just said, like, look, really specific advice. Oh, that was a good Ooh, elbow. Wee. Jumping knee. The, uh, the experience of John Ati. here can, you know, uh, can play into his hands, of course, and he has to just keep that, keep that experience. Uh, working for him uh, because Ati, of course, can finish this fight with one kick and one knee or one elbow. Oh, one nice sweep, Ati. So these guys can finish a fight with any particular yeah. strike. So, yeah, they got to keep their wits about them and don't get sloppy. Great. Good check. Check by Ati and the great good one two kick. with a good punch before and a good push yeah, kick by yeah. Cervantes. This is good work. This yeah. is good work now. now it's a really seeing, even, good, some even good match skill set from both point. of them. Great move to the side by Ati. But just not really I'm not being able to exploit that. Yeah, he wanted to move to the side and come back. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like check there, yeah. You use it, use it for something. Ah, good sweep. sweep. Nice, 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 nice. Good body kick. Ooh, he just misses with a head kick. You can see the color changing on the, on the fighter's legs and bodies. Oh, jump knee. Oh, that was a good kick. Oh, wait. That Ati didn't expect. He thought it was a yeah. head kick. That's why he moved back. But then oh, just hit a knee on the inside there. Another good knee. So here's the Moy Kao again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, like, he will bring the Moy yeah. Kao. He's but now he's jumping too much and Adi's yeah. going to catch him. But, but that's his effect, most effective shot in his last fight against uh -huh. Quebec, especially. Well, that was his Adi caught him and put him on the canvas. So just be careful. Oh. Yeah, I think Ati's turning up at this point, but doesn't mean doesn't have to mean anything in the long run. Oh, that that hit him pretty hard. Good slip by Juan. Good body kick, but always way too high. The body kick, the left body kick by Juan always goes into the guard until uh, ex, like instead of the, um, the instead of the ball. like the real body or the liver. Which would be perfect. Last 10 seconds in this round. Oh, that round went fast. <laughs> it was so action back, man. Uh, uh, I think an elbow by Juan hit at the same cut. time. Uh, an yeah, elbow by Serrano yeah. Ati hit, but both, like you said, were without yeah, any. This, this is a, good, a, closer, a closer round, but I think Ati you takes think, that one. You think closer round? I think that was pretty obvious for Ati. Like no, all the sweeps obvious. and everything. He takes it. it was closer for sure, but he takes it. Like I haven't. Like he was like four sweeps, three or four sweeps by Ati. Yeah, no, he took that round for sure. And, and, he, and he caught him nicely, he timed him nicely. Uh, if, you, if you're watching the replays, uh, you'll see he does catch him with some good strikes, but then he counters them nicely. So there he eats a knee. This is great scoring. And then this turned the tide in the round for him when he caught that. Because he showed him that his knees? Yeah, too many. Yeah, the too knees many, aren't, aren't yeah. yeah. And I think like, Gerardo's Adi's knees are dangerous, yeah. especially yeah. the jumping knees. Good start, leg kick, boom, and a body kick. Oh, oh nice high kick by Adi. Straight right. There's something really He's coming in, he's coming right. in. He's trying to get in those knees and those elbows. He's if Adi times him nicely just like that with the left hook, yeah. but a shorter hook, not such a big looping hook, would be better for, for Adi. What, what do you say uh, should Juan do now? Exactly what, he's, what doing. he's doing. The knees, the knees. Yeah, that, but, was a day, that was set, a hard but, knee. But to set it up a little bit better. Don't be so predictable with it. He needs to fake and faint a little yeah, bit but more. But that's knees. He does, he do, does it as a counter. But he, so needs to, he needs to set it up better. There's yeah, a way the elbow, to set it up. The elbow was with a switch. Oh, we. Both of them smashed each other with a nice yeah. elbow. And a good body kick. 
I think Ati shouldn't go into the close distance as, no. as quick as he does now because of the knees of Juan. That's a lot. That that's the way Juan won a lot of his fights. Yeah, by the opponent going in way too quick. Yeah, now see, he's, now he's see, he steps and he wants to knee, but he's not setting it up. I, if I were John, I'd set it up a bit look, better, like that. There's yeah, a good yeah. setup. A yeah, or, or just just do the knee when Coco comes in. That's what he did. Yep. Good technical fight so far. Two different styles. Great knee from Gerardo Atti. Yeah. He turned it right into the. Now you can see the liver. You see yep. what's swollen there? Oh, it's gonna hurt tomorrow. It's, I think it's, it's broken. gonna hurt tonight, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but still. Juan is a hard yeah, guy. Yeah, tough guy. Guys, man. Tough guy. These guys don't get to be number one in, a, in the world and fight for world titles by being soft, that's for sure. This is round three. Great of knee five. by Ati. It's round three. But they're one giving everything minute. like it's round five. Oh, 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 oh spinning back elbow. Spinning elbow. Very nicely but set up there. Cervantes. Ooh, Ati, careful, careful. Don't walk into those. Those could be fight ending. Don't be, don't be too sure now. Don't be too confident. It's still, still two rounds. Oh, that low kick was bad. Oh, oh! 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 And the building, the place is going. The place is going nuts, man. The place is, is going it? nuts. Six, oh, we eight, eight, nine, ten. We have a new world champion from Germany. Gerardo Atti is the new world champion. Like WBC and the Cruiserweight Division, the first world champion from Germany for the WBC. Congratulations, This is a historic Gerardo. moment. This is a historic well moment. Done, and he well shows done, his respect guys. to the coach like he should. This is a historic moment. It truly is. And the crowd, the crowd goes nuts. The crowd goes nuts. Well done, guys. This is a... Uh... This is a moment to be thought about for a long time. This is momentous. It's history being written here in Germany and right now by Gerardo Arti and his coach Ralf Steger. And uh, yeah, let's pay some respect to our uh, to Juan. Uh, he's, he's now we see the replays on the knockout. I said it. It was, shot, it was leg kick. It was it was the, the he's left still on the canvas. The, 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 the right. Uh, it was oh, the, he's getting up. Oh, now. it was a jumping knee yeah, with knee a follow up elbow. elbow. Oh, he oh, beat him boy. with his own weapons. He beat him with his own weapons. Yeah, and he's oh as God. happy as he could be. He started fighting four years ago. First fight in 2017. Now he's world champion. Yeah, Born in Togo. Based him. in Togo. Now, fight, now fighting for Germany and winning the world title. Bring the world title of the WBC to Germany, to Hamburg, to Ralf Stege and his team. Day of destruction. Great finish. And just like that, the fight is over, ladies and gentlemen. He, uh, it was 50-50 up to that point. Both of them were scoring nice shots. And then a good liver shot with the punching. They were standing head to head, toe to toe, so to speak. Hit him in the body. Jump knee to the face and elbow to the head. And that's it. Now he is the WBC Muay Thai World Champion. Yeah, in the Cruiserweight Division. The Cruiserweight Division. Big things ahead of him. I think uh, he's got a really great uh, future. He's got a winning record. He's young. He's strong. He has a he's a, he has a very bright future ahead of him. Yeah, I think so as well. So his professional record goes to eleven wins, six knockouts now. And now we see yeah. some highlights of the yeah. fight. So you know, so eleven and Isn't six. So he's he, he's like a, in the sixty percent range or uh, uh, KO uh, in the win. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up one more time for. Two amazing fighters in the world class world title. Now there's standing ovations here for both of the fighters. Well done, guys. It's been an honor and a privilege to be part of this event. Yeah, thanks to.
great. I'm really happy for him. He I'm gets a medal and a belt. <laughs> and a belt. <laughs> <laughs> and a hat. And yeah, a shirt. <laughs> yeah. And all, the, and all the glory that goes with that. So, uh, well done to him and w his team. WBC yeah. champion of the world. Good job, that guys. That sounds fancy, man. So, that's the end of the fight night here in Ratnau in Germany. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be uh, some highlights coming up of the event on the screen in a little bit. I hope you enjoy them. Catch a, a glimpse of the action of the night. Yeah, thanks for being here with us. Yep. And Here's the tune in from the first fight and the next few fights coming up. And tune in to the next day of destruction. Yeah, and keep a look out there. Justin, it's been an honor and a privilege once again to be working yeah, with you. It was an honor working yeah. with you too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, good luck to everybody out there. Train hard, fight hard. See you all yeah. soon. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Shakti. Thank <laughs> you.